Hey guys, VGRSRV here back. Whoops, you're not supposed to see that. Back with another video. Today I'm back with another reaction. Oh, that's loud. I'm turning that down. Uh, back with our reaction video today. Back with another reaction video for the core dance crew. You guys know who they are at this point. I've made five, four, four to five reaction videos already just based on their performances. Uh, but if you don't know who they are, they are an anime. I'm. This is a premiere, I can't pause it. Can I? I can! Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna be behind on this chat replay that's happening over here. Not chat I don't know. The chat that's happening over here, I'm gonna be behind on that. But uh it is what it is. Uh but yeah, if you guys don't know who the core dance group are, they are a obviously they are a dance team that do sets based off of nerdy stuff like anime obviously but also mon uh not manga video games comic books books they've done a harry potter's they've done a couple harry potter's that's actually they've done marvel they've done young justice they've done dc they've done x-men and obviously they've done a whole bunch of different animes i'm gonna leave their link in the description below i'm gonna leave a link to their website to their channel and to their instagram so please go check them out if you already haven't Although I have a feeling most of you watching this video are already comrades. That is a Discord noise. noise. Please ignore that. Anyway, let's get back to the video because I don't want to be too far behind on this chat because I can already hear, I can already see people like screaming names in the uh, in the chat over there. So don't want to be too far behind there. Sonali is on the floor for some reason and just crawled out from under a table. Yeah, typically I don't react to their freestyle videos. Freestyle videos of theirs are tip are typically videos that I watch on my own. Hey, Joseph. Um, yeah, I typically watch those on my own. I typically only react to their sets that they do. Uh, I honestly, I don't know why I don't ever record my reactions to the freestyle videos. Oh yes, Liz. I feel like Liz Discord. Shut up for a bit. <laughs> uh. I feel like Liz could like really rock any type of style she wanted to. Truth be told, like, she, don't know. She she she's just that kind of person that she, she I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling. <laughs> I think I'm rambling. I really hope y'all can't hear like a bunch of Discord noises that are happening in the background because, in my ears, they're very very pretty prevalent. Uh, I hope y'all can't hear them that much and. Really, I just hope y'all can hear the music, even though this music might give me a copyright strike, which is not always good. But maybe the whole fact that it's a mashup will keep it from giving me copyright. I have high hopes for this. I did not mean that as a reference, but you know what, comrades, y'all get the high hopes reference. Can I just say real quick, uh, <laughs> uh, you know what, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on a second. Uh, as I was, I think I, I finally remember what I was going to say. I just wanted to mention that I love Sonali so much. Like, it is immaculate, the amount of love I feel for Sonali. I just messed up her name. That that just shows how much I feel. Yep. Also, another thing, this video may or may not be shorter than the other reaction videos I've done, just because their freestyle videos are typically shorter than the full sets that they do. Their sets are near, like, anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Let go. I was not expecting teeth to be in this mashup, but you know what? I'm not upset with it. I realize now that I'm listening more to the songs than I just realized Sonali has a Water Tribe shirt on. Yes, Sonali. I see, I see Liz. I see Liz in the back. I see Jade. Oh my god. Yes, Joseph. Someone keep a count of how many times I just like call out different members' names. Urban! Oh, there's gonna be a drop here. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a job. There's a job. There we go. Oh, yes, Joseph. What a king. What a queen. He's everything. King, queen, royalty. Just royalty in general. It's a JK. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, Urban. Wait, this is Gangnam Style! Hold on! This is Gangnam Style! Dark Horse! Oh my god, I haven't heard Dark Horse in... 
Uh, Billie Eilish, of course. Yeah, you got you got to have Trini dancing to Billie Eilish. Yes. Is that a Bakugo shirt? Is that a Bakugo shirt? I think that was a Bakugo shirt. I haven't heard Dark Horse in so long. It was it was so it's so weird listening to that again. That is a Bakugo shirt, isn't it? Or am I going crazy? I think I'm just going crazy. And Jay, yes. Uh, Trini, Sammy. Is that Sammy? I can't see. I, I'm, I should probably mention I'm blind, too. I think that was Sammy. Was that Sammy? I think I'm going to say that. I'm going to hope that was Sammy. And, well, actually, it might have been Noelle. Might have been Noelle. That's Justine, though. <laughs> Someone keep count of how many times you just say members' names. Someone keep count of that. I don't know if anybody actually will, but... You know what? Maybe someone will, or maybe I will in post. I probably won't. Yes, Lauren. I think that is a Bakugo shirt. At this, I'm, I'm convinced that's a Bakugo shirt. Yes, Lauren. Smooth transition to NJ. Another thing about this video. Kayla, CEO and co-founder of the Core Dance Crew, uh, mentioned on her Instagram story a while back that while editing this video... There was a problem of everything being like slightly off, so she had to go in and manually like move the frames back in so that all the objects that are there all look like they were always in the same place and on moving while the dancers would just be popping in and out and in and out. Speaking of Kayla, she was there just for a bit. I don't know if y'all saw her. I think that is Sammy. Yeah, I think that was Sammy. Woo! Yes, Lauren! Lauren is such an amazing dancer. They're all amazing. They're all amazing dancers. Oh my gosh, Lauren is so good. She's so good. That is Sammy. I was right. I was. I was so worried that. Oh my god, what if it's one of the like newer recruits that I haven't, and I'm just messing up their names or something? No, but that is Sammy. What's on? What is that? I know that song. I know. Hey, Kayla. Uh, and Trini. Uh, I know. I know what. I know that song, but I can't name. Names aren't coming to mind. Oh my god. Don't you hate? Don't you hate it when that happens? When you're just like thinking of a song, but you can't think of the name. Hey, Rustin. Bro. Well, hey, Jason. Why is Rustin wearing a bucket hat like he's a K-pop boy? Shallon. Uh, seashell for life. Only those of y'all who were at YeetCon are going to understand that, Jane. Oh my god, Rio! Rio, yes. I, I always say Rio for some reason. I don't know if it's Rio or Rio or what, but... God, every, ah, they're all such good dancers. So, someone's gonna... Some, okay, so someone's keeping count of how many times they just scream out names. Someone keep count of how many times they say, Oh my god, they're such good dancers. Someone keep count of both of those. Or two different people keep different counts. I wish to be able to. Oh my god. Rustin? Like, Rustin is so good at freestyle. Let me say that. Rustin is such a good freestyler. He's a good dancer. He's so good at freestyling. He, It's crazy, man. Like, I wish to be able to dance as good as these guys one day. And, you know, dan dancing's not easy. So it's it's a lot of I hope y'all can't hear the Discord sounds in the background. Uh Jason! Get it, Jason. Yes. Uh but as yeah, as I was saying, I hope to be able to dance as good as these guys one day. And it's it's a crazy Come on, look at that. They're so they're, they're so good. If y'all haven't checked these guys out yet, what are you doing? Like, y'all have no excuse. If you don't know, if you haven't if you watch my videos and you haven't checked out the core dance crew yet. What are you waiting for? Links in the description. Go watch their videos. Go follow them on Instagram. Check out their website. Y'all have no excuse at this point. Come on, look at this. Look at this. They're all they're all so good. That's not even we haven't even seen everybody yet. That's like what half the core. That's half the team. That's about I think that, well, that's a little more than half the team actually. I think we've seen a little over half the team now. But like, come on, y'all have no excuse to not check them out yet. Come on, just. Click the links, check them out. It's so easy. Yes, Noble House! Again, only comrades will get that. The boys of Noble House. 
the little transition of Rustin like fading out was so nice. Yes, Kayla. Kayla is so Kayla is such a powerful dancer. Yes, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> so much. Uh, I, I really, I really now. I, this one, I'm just thinking of how many times I'm yelling out names and how many times I'm just being like, "Oh my god, they're such good dancers," because <laughs> they really are. And I wish I could say more, but those are the only thoughts coming to my mind right now. Oh man. I think at this point we could just agree that Chris Rossin's a K-pop boy. Come on, because he's got the bucket hat. He's got the dance skills. Come on, he. Ross is just a K-pop boy now. And I don't think anybody's going to complain about that. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. Oh, man. Rostin is such a good dancer. And he's so good at freestyling, too. So, I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous. Like, I say I say that I, I wish I could dance as JK. It's JK and Urban. Uh, I say that I wish I like I wish I could dance as good as these guys, and like you know I'm I'm learning I'm still learning I'm, I'm yeah I'm I'm young I'm learning, but even so like oh my gosh I wish I could dance half as good as these guys man, they're so amazingly talented it's crazy oh I got so scared for a second I thought that thing was gonna tip over. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna tip over and just crush JK. And, oh god, I got so scared for him. That's a, that's Senorita, isn't it? A Senorita and Old <laughs> A Senorita and an Old Town Road mashup. That is a combination that I never would have expected. Oh, uh, that that is that is Senorita and Old Town Road is a combination that I never would have expected in my life, and yet this works. <laughs> it's not something I expect. This works. What? You know? Oops! I pressed the button. Um. You know? Uh. Oh my God! I'm uh, You know, as as a as a brown person. Seeing someone like Sonali have the confidence to cosplay so many characters that, you know, aren't brown. And I know, yeah, I, I know cosplay is, a cosplay, like, the, the character you cosplay is not determined by the color of your skin. I know that. But even so, like, there's a lot of people in the cosplay community who see someone of a darker skin tone cosplay an anime character, and they're like, you can't do that, it's not accurate to the character, just find a darker co character to cosplay. And there's not that many of those, truth be told. But also, like, seeing someone like Sonali, another another brown person... Discord! Seeing another brown person cosplay characters with such confidence that I, myself, would... You know, I would love to have that sort of confidence when cosplaying. Because in my brain, I know cosplay is for everyone. I can cosplay whoever I want to, as long as I'm... Having fun with it, that's all that matters, and I know that. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, in the back of your head, you can't just help but think, I'm a, I can't help but think at least, I'm a brown guy. I need to cosplay the brown guys. There aren't that many brown guys in anime, if any, really. <sighs> that, that, that's a topic for another day, though, but yeah, there's a, Sonali, Sonali in particular holds, like, everyone in the core, wonderful people, they hold a special place in my heart, but in my heart, in my heart, but Sonali specifically is someone who I really admire. Like, as a dancer, as a person, as a cosplayer, everything, really. Whew, man. I, I did not expect this suddenly. I thought JK was going to fall. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the quick sword of Major there. I saw that. I saw that. Uh... Yeah, I wasn't expecting to actually kind of open up about that on this video, but I guess that... <laughs> I hope she's okay. Is, was that Rio? I think that was Rio. I hope she's okay from the... Because I know when when, kick, when kip ups don't go just as you plan, it can kind of hurt. I hope, I, hope, I hope she's okay from that. Oh, man. You're so good. What? <laughs> what was that? What was... <laughs> was that 
JK. I have a feeling it was JK. Like from from the bits of clothing that I saw, I'm gonna pause. It. Uh, I think that's fine, right? It's fine. Uh, but yeah, look from from the bits that I saw, and just from the thing that happened, I'm gonna assume that was JK. But yeah, Core Summerfest. I'm gonna explain this real quick for any of you who don't know. Is a virtual convention that is happening. Excuse me. At the time of me recording this video, and at the time of me uploading this video, actually, because I believe this is going up on Discord. Anyway, Core Summer Fest is a virtual convention hosted by the Core Dance Crew. The panels and the events are all hosted by the members, they all contain the members, and there's a lot of interaction with the attendees as well, us comrades, as the fans are called. Um, the, day, the day, today, I don't know why today is such a hard word for me to say. That rhymed, unintentionally. But today is day three of four of Core Summerfest. Because, you know, Discord! Today is day three of four, out of four, before Summerfest, because, you know, anime conventions, I give up on Discord. Anime conventions, day three, you always gotta have the masquerade, you always gotta have the masquerade. And we basically, we did have a masquerade. I am currently in a Zoom call with the core themselves, along with several other fans of the core dance crew. I'm looking at the video and not into my camera. I should look into my camera instead. That's probably a good idea. Um, but yeah, I'm Discord. I'm currently in a Zoom call with the other with members of the Core Dance Crew, as well as several other fans of the Core Dance Crew. And we're talk. We just had like our own mini masquerade, which was wonderful. And I believe a video of that will be going up on their channel. So if y'all want to check that out, I'm going to. I said this before, but I le I'm going to leave links in the description to their channel, their Instagram, and their website. On their channel, you will find sets that they have performed for other freestyles that they have done, as well as several of the events that happened during the Summerfest. Uh, today is three day three out of four, so you, ha you guys have probably missed a lot if you haven't been tuning in. But there still is a full fourth day left, so tune into that today, because this is going up on the fourth day. But, uh, yeah, and if you guys want to check out the previous events that happened during Core Summerfest, everything's going to be on their channel, so that's wonderful. Things are also going to be on their Instagram Live. There's also stuff on their Instagram Live that's not going to be on their YouTube channel that does pertain to the Summerfest. So go check that out as well, as well as check out their website where you can find more information on the Core Dance Group. I, the, half of this video is probably me promoing them, and the other half of me is just yelling names, and oh my god, they're such good dancers. That is essentially what this video was. And you guys watched that. So, I don't know who's the real loser here, me or you. But, uh, I don't think any of us are losers, actually. We, we gained a lot from this video. We've, we've seen a lot from this video. But, uh, anyways, I think, I think I'm going to end on this episode. This is not a playthrough. There's no reason for me to say episode. I do have playthroughs going on on my channel right now. I, I'm currently playing Persona 5 Royal, and the next coming days I'll be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So if any of y'all are fans of, one, Persona, the Persona series, I have, like, 90 parts of Persona 5 Royal up on my channel, as well as an entire Persona 4 Golden playthrough. If y'all are fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! I am currently playing through Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist on my PlayStation 4, and I... If y'all don't know what Legacy of the Duels is, y'all can look it up, because I'm not going to explain that in a video about the Core Dance Crew. But anyway, I'm going to end off this episode here. Not episode. I'm going to end off this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all